What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So I just finished watching the Elimination Chamber. Um, it was okay for me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, it was it was kinda, <clears throat> I don't know, it was kinda meh. For me, uh, I'm, I'm not even sure why, I mean, I don't know, I can't really explain it. I, I, I think the only match I really cared about, honestly, was the uh the smackdown side of the elimination chamber i was really intrigued on how they were going to book that uh, on the raw side i ain't really too much care in my personal opinion i think um drew mcintyre has been a back burner on this build to um wrestlemania in my opinion it's really been the story of edge and you know who he's gonna pick and also roman reigns being at the top of the card so drew's elimination chamber i i really didn't see anybody in there in that match particularly coming out as my potential favorite only the person i felt like would probably possibly win would be drew so i don't know i i really didn't care for the raw side of things and i don't even think i checked out any of the other matches i'm just keeping 100 with y'all man like i just I hadn't cared, you know what I'm saying? But I was intrigued on the SmackDown thing, so I wanted to check it out. Um, I didn't really take too many notes. Uh, I like the fact that it started. I honestly, I wish Raw would have started it off, but I see why they had Raw, the Raw Elimination Chamber, the last match. We'll get into that. Um, but um, Sammy trying to team up with Kevin Owens. I like that dynamic within the match. Um, you can tell the, the roles has switched. Sami Zayn being the heel now, Kevin Owens being the face. I like the role reversal there. Um, I also like the story they were telling with Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan started the match and he was going through it. Like they were targeting his knee. I like the, this was like the underdog Daniel Bryan story that we all know and love. And you could tell they were really booking it in a sense of, can Daniel Bryan overcome the odds? Because I think we all kind of knew Kevin Owens wasn't going to win the match only because he's had already a few matches to face Roman Reigns to take the title. So it wouldn't make sense for him to win this match, ultimately to lose to Roman Reigns again. Um, so I do like the fact that they they were planting the seeds that Daniel Bryan would potentially be the guy to win the Elimination Chamber. And that's what he did. And Daniel Bryan overcome the odds, typical fashion. I enjoyed it. He he's selling the injury. He's he's giving you that baby face run that we remember back in like 2013, 2014, where the yes movement was at its strongest and He's overcoming everything that's being thrown his way. He had to overcome the odds to last to be the winner of the Elimination Chamber match. Now, I'm thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, well, they'll have the match later on tonight. Daniel Bryan will have at least a little bit of rest, kind of like how he did at WrestleMania 30, where he, he fought Triple H to even have an opportunity to go against Randy Orton and Batista later on that night. It gave him some time to kind of rest up. Nope. Roman Reigns being the top guy, as soon as the cage lifted, Roman Reigns music hit. And I'm like, wow, this is what you call being a mega heel. The dude didn't even have chance, didn't even have a chance to rest. Like he had no opportunity to get any type of breather. Like he's selling his injuries. Roman Reigns is walking down the ramp with Paul Heyman all smug. Like, like, yep, this uh, this is going to be quick work. Soon as the bell rings, I love this. I love that they they're still booking Daniel Bryan as this guy that will never give up. I like the fact that as soon as the bell rung. Roman Reigns rushes uh, Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan applies the yes lock instantly. And it was a nice little, nice little, oh, maybe Daniel Bryan can possibly pull up the upset here. But ultimately, Roman Reigns powers out of it, and he just beats the crap out of Daniel Bryan. I mean, viciously beats him down. For no reason other than he got upset because he got caught slipping pretty much. He got caught in the yes lock. He wasn't expecting that. Beat him down. He could have easily 
And I like this Roman. He could have easily went for the pin, went for the cover, maybe hit him with a spear, called it a day. No, he went for his submission move. I believe they call it, I believe it's the guillotine. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm uh, wrong. But I believe that's what they call that move, uh, a submission move, the guillotine. And it's just so brutal. He purposely applied it just to to make the dude, make Daniel Bryan pass out. And I like the fact that kept Daniel Bryan strong. He didn't tap. The dude was pretty much defenseless, and he passed out. And, of course, Roman being a heel, he's holding it extra long, too. Like, he's not letting it up. Like, it was brutal. Like, it it looked very brutal. It it fits Roman Reigns' character as it is now. I loved it. I enjoyed that. That was probably really, the, like, the most enjoyable part for me that tonight was the, of course, the Elimination Chamber on the Smack, SmackDown side of things. And then... Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan for that brief little match they had. I enjoyed that so much. And this next part, of course, Edge coming out there as Roman Reigns is gloating about his easy victory over Daniel Bryan. He hits Roman Reigns with a vicious spear and he lets it be known that Edge will be coming for the Universal Championship at at this year's WrestleMania. And it, it kind of goes into what happened on SmackDown. I know I didn't make a video about it, but I did watch the clip where basically Edge was, you know, basically saying, yo, you know, saying I, I'm still I'm messing with you. Like, I, I didn't even have to do too much. Like, I know I'm I know I got you mentally. Like, I know you think that this these are the problems that you want, but you don't. Because at the end of the day, you need me to make your match a main event match. That's what it all comes down to. And I like that. I like how Edge is like, yo, you need me more than I need you. Because I can easily go for another championship. And that will be the main event. But you know, I'm the ticket to your uh, potential next main event show at WrestleMania. You need me more than you think. And you really don't want these problems because I will start to expose you. I will start to show the, the the little dents in your armor. This is not what you want. Ultimately, I like that little exchange you had on SmackDown. And then at the end of the night, Roman Reigns hits a vicious spear on Edge. So this was kind of a, all right, this is what you want to do. Fine. Edge hits a vicious spear on Roman Reigns. Points at the sign. Of course, fireworks go off because it got to be cinematic and, you know, has has to be all theme, you know, have a theme to it. Like, I'm facing you at WrestleMania, and that's what it's going to be. You, This is what you wanted. You wanted my attention. Great. You have my attention now. I'm going to face you at WrestleMania. Take your championship. So I did like this whole exchange. I thought this was pretty cool. Best part of, of the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Um, honestly... I'm still thinking Roman should win. Now, I know people would probably be upset if Edge wins because it's like, why does someone that hasn't, you know, that's like not really a full timer. Why does he get an opportunity to, you know, get the Universal Championship? It should be somebody like Roman. And I, I wouldn't trip if Edge was to win. But I, I do think the right booking decision would be for Roman Reigns to win. Only because he's, one, a full-time guy, and two, he's the best thing about SmackDown. Roman doesn't, his new character doesn't really work as well unless he has the championship. He can still be a heel, but it does not work as well unless he has that championship on him. That's the only way this gimmick, this heel turn really is at his uh, uh, highest potential. So, I'm still thinking Roman will ultimately retain at wrestlemania but we will see but i am looking forward to the promos and the segments leading up to wrestlemania i know they're gonna kill it so that's that's making smackdown even much more like you gotta see it because now edge is primarily gonna be on smackdown and him and roman reigns are gonna be going back and forth on the mic i'm all for it can't wait to see how this plays out like I said, didn't really care for the rest of the pay-per-view. I literally skimmed through it. I didn't even really take any other notes. I skimmed through the rest of the pay-per-view. Hey, if you don't like it, you can check out other people's review on the pay-per-view. I, nah, I, 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 I like to spend my time creating more content for you guys and working on other stuff. So I, I like to watch what I want to watch. Um, of course, 
Raw side of things. I actually even skimmed through this match because I didn't really care because I didn't believe anybody else was going to win other than Drew McIntyre. I didn't even know Kofi Kingston was in the match. I hadn't really been watching Raw, so sue me, whatever. But, of course, um, um, Drew McIntyre wins. He wins the match. All right, cool. He's celebrating. Then out of nowhere, Bobby Lashley starts attacking him. And I didn't understand this until afterwards, until I, I listened to commentary and what they were saying. I didn't understand why Bobby Lashley was attacking him after the match. Then, of course, Miz come down uh, with his money in, the bank, money in the bank briefcase. He comes down. He cashes it in. Hits uh, a Drew with a skull crushing finale. That didn't look too that. It didn't look good to me personally. The camera angle kind of exposed how the finishing move doesn't really look that good. And ultimately, The Miz is your new WWE champion. He is a two-time WWE champion, bro. I think the Money in the Bank briefcase should have went to somebody else. But that's neither here or nor there for me personally. Um, Miz is the champ. I don't buy him as a champ. And that's the problem. That's the problem. As a WWE champion, I do not buy him. As an Intercontinental champion, I can buy that. As the United States champion, I can buy that. As the WWE champion, no. I can't buy that. No. If He has to be a transitional champion, bro. There's no way I can see. Like, I know. I, I believe there's another pay-per-view before WrestleMania, but there's no way in my mind I can see him as a long-term champion like Roman Reigns. And plus, you would have two top heel champions. Like, I honestly just, I don't see it. I don't see it. I, I don't even, like I said, if they have another pay-per-view before WrestleMania, which I think they will, I I don't see him. I would be surprised if he holds that belt all the way to WrestleMania. I'll be, like, thoroughly surprised. I'll be surprised if he makes it out of WrestleMania still as the WWE champion. I'm just going to be honest. I didn't understand how things played out, but once commentary expressed oh well uh miz was uh talking to uh mvp and mvp is part of her business basically there was some type of deal made where obviously bobby lashley will work on the miz behalf to attack drew after the match and that's how that happened i'm guessing that's how that happened i'm pretty sure that's how that happened so yeah and that's how the show ended the Miz as your new WWE champion. Um, like I said, overall the show was eh, it was okay. The first 30, 40 minutes of the show, dealing with SmackDown and what's happening with the Universal Championship was great. I enjoyed that. Everything else after that was kind of meh. Miz becoming the champion, I wouldn't even just like surprise. I was just like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks. You know, it just like that. For me personally, I just didn't really care but comment down below let me know i want to get your thoughts and opinions did y'all enjoy this pay-per-view me it was it was kind of a toss-up for me but you know let me know if y'all enjoyed the pay-per-view are you guys looking forward to monday night raw are you guys looking forward to smackdown i uh, would love your comments and feedback appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking with me i'll see y'all next one peace